We're live from Chevy Chase. Welcome back. So grab that second cup of coffee because it's now time for our couch combo. And today we are talking organization and decluttering, but it can be fun. Don't worry. <laughs> you know, it's fall cleaning season and today professional organizer Tara Stewart is here to show three co commonly cluttered areas and how to declutter them. Welcome to the show. Hello, how are you all today? Great, thanks so much for coming in. You know, we My need pleasure. a lot of help when it comes to getting organized. And I just mentioned we have 100 days left in the year. We need to get on it, those things, the projects that we've been putting off. So you're a professional organizer. Yes. What are some of the most common areas that people come to you and they're like, help? Well, I wanted to lead with exactly those three. Typically, they'll call us for the whole house. Okay. And what I will say is, yes, I, I feel you, but give me the one that if we could snap our fingers immediately and it was done, then it's, you know, we're done. Garage. Kitch I know, it's always. <laughs> like, kitchen, pantry, yeah. primary closet, and garage. Oh, garage is okay. Garage is okay. always one of the top three. So usually I go with the one that's bringing the most stress. Right. Okay. So I think we're going to start with the pantry, right? Is oh, that yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look because you got some before and afters, I got right? some before and afters, and I thought what we would do is walk through kind of what the pickle was and what Yikes. the solution. That's a mess. So, wire shelves. The biggest complaint I hear from people is my pantry's got wire shelves, everything's falling through. Yeah. So, or I've bought too much stuff at Costco or Sam's. How am I managing all this? My kids aren't putting things away. I had this great idea. How can I fix it? So can I like tap it and it like changed to yeah. something really pretty? Because you do tap yeah. to tidy on yes. your Instagram. Oh, there there you go. There you wow. go. Wow. So it's so that quick. Much we better. just do it just like that. <laughs> So, we wish. Yes, yeah, so a couple of things we work through with our clients because organization for it to be maintainable has to be functional for you specifically, for your family specifically. So this client wanted baskets because she didn't necessarily want to see everything, but we labeled them so they were nice and clear for everybody. And you don't want the pasta falling right through we the We don't shelves. want the pasta through. You can also do something if you need, if your children need to see, you could do a clear bin, but the benefit of a basket or a bin, it's a flat bottom, stuff can be in there, and then you want the same depth. The pickle that people yes. find is they might buy a 10 inch for a 16 inch shelf. So you oh, want to go all the way to the back. Another Perfect. thing is with the corners, since these are 16 inch shelves, you could do a 15 inch turntable, condiments, um, oils, spices, even cans. That way Smart. you can spin and nothing's yeah. getting stuck in the corner. That's wonderful. And then as far as decanting goes, because everybody thinks it looks so pretty, you want to be functional again. So yeah. I try to stick with like baking items that you might not use as often. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure Martha the Stewart, you might use them a lot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But then things like if you've got smaller humans that are packing their lunches, you don't want to constantly be dumping all the chips in, but you could do a big basket or bin that's a grab sure. and go. Makes sense. And Makes then sense. they can help even put the groceries away, yeah. right? Yes. So that you're not doing it all, and yeah. you can just say, dump it in the chips. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, so I'm inspired. all fixed. What's next? Yes. Okay, what is next? Let's see. Okay, garage. Oh, oh is wow. this my garage? Is this my garage? <laughs> and if it Yikes. is, do not feel bad. There's the cat box. Yeah. This is my garage. There's no cat. He was he, all cats. No cats were harmed in the making of this photo. So the garage is always. It's usually the last one people want to do mm -hmm. because there's it's decisions that need to be made. It's a dumping room, right? Yes. It's a but then when we get it done, they're like, I wish it was the first one because when you open the garage door and you can pull in, it's it nice. already You're makes proud. your evening a little bit lighter. So let's just getting it. from our right, tap after. Tap it. Okay, <gasps> so <laughs> here's the deal. My future. It's My all future. actually gone. We try to practice kindness to the planet. So we recycle what can be recycled. Electronics can be recycled here locally. Hazardous waste. Lexington is fantastic. They've got an upcoming hazardous waste in yes, October. That's right. All that old paint that you thought well, I need to keep. No, you don't. You don't need to keep it. You're going to no. repaint the whole house. No. Right. Get it to hazardous waste. The other things that end up here, which are now gone, are things like Oh, my parent or grandparent passed away. I had to sell their house quickly, so I shoved it in here. And it takes a minute because we're in grief, and that's yes. understandable. Right. So we will walk you through decisions that need to be made and where things can go so that they're actually being used by people who need them. Yeah. And because we don't need all the Grandma's China, China doesn't want to no, be in the garage. No, it wants to be used. No. Right. And so right. I know that a lot of guilt is tied up in that. Sure. So let's find a place that someone could use it. Another thing that lands here is if you have adult children mm -hmm. and they've been gone five, ten years, you're like, but they're going to want, they're going to want, no, they don't. No. No. 
So the adult children are gone. Right. Get rid of their stuff. And the so. only other thing I will say about this, like with the tools, what we did here, because there's not as many as you might think, maybe you're in a season of life now, you used to DIY. Yeah. Now you don't. So you don't need 800 power tools. You need like one power drill. Or yeah. Do you hear that, Stevie J? <laughs> do you hear that? Or I always tell people, maybe you used to mow your own yard, but you're like, no, I'm going to support a local small business. Yes. So yeah. the mower Donate can go. It. It's like a it's like a security blanket, the lawnmower. Right. But yeah. I'm like, you can give that to a kid that wants to start his own lawn mowing business this summer. Maybe the first lawn mowing's free. All right. Well, mower. I want to get to the next one okay. because yes. oh, that the one was fantastic. Didn't you say something about closet a little earlier? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now here's the thing. It's not exactly a closet because I know in this area sometimes the older homes have small closets. So sometimes part of the pickle is creating space without having to do an entire remodel of your closet. So this is actually from Ikea. It's put into the bedroom Love and it. it is a clothing pile, right? Yeah. And she also had t-shirts and bins. There was no more room in her closet. So how can we make this more functional? Okay, we're tap it. Tap it. Tap it. We've, We've got, got one, one minute. minute. <laughs> We've got one minute. Okay. So excited. So, Perfection. Wow. You have to be able to see things. Again, you're going to use the entire depth. So these are 16 inch clear containers. They're actually designed by the Home Edit but they're at Walmart, Yes, so they're reasonably priced. We sorted her t-shirt so she can find them. Hung the pants, right? Because yeah. if you can't see it, you're Perfect. not gonna wear it. Exactly. Especially with exactly. kids, they go in the bottom Perfect. and they pull the yes. neck down. This we is gotta fantastic. get. We gotta get to the last one. Oh yeah, last the junk, junk drawer. drawer. Everybody junk drawer. has a junk drawer, yes. and you on your blog Before. have an amazing. Um, oh, this oh, is after. This is we the, got all after. Yeah, yeah, because we're done. We we're got. Just, we so don't care about the, the after. Yeah. yeah, I want people to have something they could tackle today. Today. And like you said, on the blog, it's terrenstewart.com/blog. There's one that will walk them through specific steps, but more importantly give product links. So if you're seeing oh, stuff on great. here and you're like, well, I don't know, where did she find that? Yeah. You can click the product links and we have DIY for all those projects. You've, You've got to call you're Tara amazing. today. Thank all you. the information is up on the screen. She is amazing. You're coming back because we have a lot more to talk about. Yes. Good job, Tara. Good job. Great. All right, now's the moment we've all been waiting for the results to our question of the day. What's your email inbox look like? Neat and tidy or a hot mess? Let's see what voters said. Neat and tidy, 77%. Oh, that's fantastic. Tara would love to hear that. Aren't you excited, Tara? And every day we have a new question, so make sure you're voting on Facebook at Live from Chevy Chase, and then follow us on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> well, and don't forget, because we have our budding thought of the day coming up, and we have the latest news headlines at 9.30 on Fox 56. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Live from Chevy <laughs> Chase.